Welcome to a 100% glitchless review, the review where I pretend like I'm on a time crunch and make a review as fast as possible before my random spike of motivation to make a video goes away. Consider subscribing. Today we're going to talk about this awesome game that I started playing around a month ago, and since then it has become one of my favorite games of all time. Noita. The way you do anything besides moving and kicking in this game is by putting two things together, a wand and a spell. There are multiple different kinds of wands and multiple different kinds of spells. You can put multiple spells on a wand and the wand will cycle through all of those spells in a straight order or a random order, depending on if the wand has shuffle enabled or not. Wands can have lots or little mana, they can cycle back to the beginning of the loop fast or slow, and some can even fire multiple spells at once. Now that we have that down, we've got spells. One of the more common types is a projectile spell. There are lots of different kinds of projectiles, and you can even modify them with spell modifiers if you put the modifier directly before the projectile on the wand. Here's the catch. If you try and modify a projectile on a shuffle wand, there is no guarantee that that modifier will affect that projectile. So if you put the modifier teleport cast right beside explosion on a shuffle wand, there is a 50-50 chance that you release a powerful and devastating attack right in front of you, or you blow yourself up. There's no guarantee that a wand will have a positive effect if you just drop random spells on it. You can kill yourself with these things really, really easily. So the game forces you to think about what you're doing before you do it with how backhanded the spells are, and how garbage certain spells can be on certain wands. My absolute favorite thing about this game are the OP runs. You only get an OP run about 1 in every 15 runs because of RNG, but they truly are OP. Even when you do get the most powerful wand of all time, it still doesn't make the game a breeze. If your wand is super ultra high DPS but super inaccurate, like most of my OP builds are, you can still easily kill yourself by accidentally stepping beside and hitting an explosive barrel. And even if your wand is a perfectly accurate OP god wand, you can still fall into lava and get hit by a stray projectile from an enemy or get sniped across the map from someone you didn't even see. And from what I've found, the deeper you go down, the game actually punishes you for not having an OP build, with the sheer amount of health that the enemies have down there. What it boils down to is if you don't have an OP run, you can't rely on combat to win the game. When you do get an OP build, that's just step one. Step two is avoiding hazards. When I say hazards, I mean things like falling debris, fire, acid, lava, toxic sludge, miscellaneous explosions, and so on. The simulations in this game can outright kill you faster than a lot of enemies in the game, and even if they don't kill you, they can leave you on 5 health to be one tap by one of the weakest enemies in the game. And most of the time, these simulations are avoidable. Whether you tried to collect some gold that was right beside lava before the gold despawned, you stepped in some oil and caught fire from one of your explosions and couldn't find water in time, or maybe you just stepped inside some water with an electrified wand and accidentally electrocuted yourself. The way you beat this game is by taking a look at what you have and trying to focus it into the most powerful form you can. Most of the time the power and damage is there, you just need to nudge it in the correct direction for it to become OP. But if you nudge it in the wrong direction, it can either be garbage or it can backfire on you. And most of the time all it takes is one or two spells or spell modifiers to nudge it in the correct or incorrect direction. That's what makes Noida so satisfying to me. One seemingly insignificant thing in the right context can be the key to unlocking an OP run. The game can be frustrating, a lot of it is RNG, but I love it, and you should give it a try. Thank you for watching till the end. Go follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash gargazoid. Please subscribe if you like the content, and I will see you in the next video.